Every year around the globe, half a million women develop cervical cancer, and more than a quarter of a million die. The overwhelming majority of those deaths occur in developing countries. In Burkina Faso, Ajaratu Kinda learned too late that she had cervical cancer. They said there is nothing else they can do for me here. A simple, inexpensive test could have saved her life. In developed countries, most women can be screened for cervical cancer with a non-invasive test at a doctor's office. If lab results show abnormal cells, they have options. Cryotherapy, killing precancerous cells by freezing the cervix, and in more advanced cases, radiation or surgery. In developing countries, women don't have these options. As a result, in sub-Saharan Africa, women who are HIV positive are surviving AIDS, but dying of cervical cancer. This is a healthy cervix? Dr. Here. John Varallo is with Japigo, a nonprofit health organization. In the precancer stage, there are no symptoms. There's no pain, there's no bleeding, there's no discharge. Uh, woman feels well. And so, but that's when they need to be screened. Japigo is helping establish programs in Burkina Faso and other countries so doctors, nurses, and midwives can screen and treat precancerous cells in one visit. A solution of simple table vinegar turns precancerous cells white. During that same visit, cryotherapy kills them. Abnormal areas or precancerous lesions will turn a thick white, and so it's very clear. Uh, uh, in most cases. It takes 10 years or more for those cells to become cancerous, and yet cervical cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths among women worldwide. It's projected that by 2030, 98% uh, of those cases will be occurring in developing countries. And it's, uh, it's really unnecessary because cervical cancer is almost completely preventable. The World Health Organization calls cervical cancer a leading public health concern. And now, with an inexpensive test, more women can be screened and their lives saved. Dr. Varallo says the procedure is 95 percent effective. If screening and treatment can become more widespread, there will be no need for women like Ajara Tukinda to learn that it's too late. Carol Pearson, VOA News.